What is up, guys? Nexus Reviews HD here, bringing you guys some fairy tale chapter 428. I'm going to be doing a live reaction on this. And yes, I was gone this entire weekend. I didn't get to review anything. I forgot that Fate Day Night. I forgot that freaking Kekai Zensen. I forgot freaking Food Wars. So let's just get into this. Three, two, one, and let's go. We have the cover page with Romeo and his dad. And that looks pretty cool. It's promising. So we go back, apparently we're going back to that um place where Juvia was, it's raining and she's sick. Um Wendy says, Juvia son, let me wipe you, okay? Well, Carlos says, What if wonder if Natsu caught up with the rest caught up with Grey yet? Yeah, it'd be nice if they did though. I and then Wendy says, I hope they're not fighting. Fights aren't something new to them. If Natsu son it's Natsu son and Grey son we're talking about. That's true. Yeah, okay, so basically Wendy's saying I hope they don't get into a fight. Oh crap, what's this? They're, she's basically saying, I hope they don't get into a fight. Really? I, I just turned the page and this this happens. Wow. <laughs> wow, Wendy. I hope Natsu and Grey aren't fighting. This. <sighs> that, wow. Okay, hold on. That, that I have to take a screenshot of that because that, that's going to be the thumbnail. So let's put this right here. Um, here, and there we go. Okay, I got I got the screenshot for that. So basically, Natsu and Gray are punching the living crap out of each other. Um, Lucy and Virgo are in the um background as usual. Okay, so apparently they're apparently they're going at it. Hey, both of you, stop it! Lucy says, and then Gray says, "What the hell are you guys doing here? Right back at you!" And then Gray says, "I do what I want." And then Natsu's going to bring in that logic saying, Juvia's waiting for you, you bastard. Yeah, Juvia is Juvia is waiting for her grace on me. Why don't you respond to this, Gray? And then Natsu pulling a Naruto on us saying that, I'm waiting for you. I want you to come back to the village, Gray. Or should I say Sasuke? And we need you to bring back, oh my gosh. Bring, bring back fairy tale. Listen, not Natsu needs to know something. Fairy tale is done. They need to just make a new guild or something. And then Gray bringing in the logic, he says, "This is stupid. Fairy tale is no more." Look, look. See, see, see Natsu has to face it. Fairy tale is no more. The the least Natsu can do right now is just create a new guild, find Loxus, and create a new guild. Loxus can, re can create a new guild. He'll be like the a Magarab with that one, and then you know it'll be Fairy Tale 2.0. You you can't try and bring back a guild. You have you have to create a new one. And then Natsu says, "That's what they all say, but all the memories and the bonds we share are still there. The building is completely freaking destroyed. There's nothing there. Fairy Tales right here has been and will always be." Okay, not not to like really. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And then your solution's right there, isn't it? If it's as you say, then you'd have no need for me. So leave me alone, won't you? I will go my way, and you go yours. Listen, it's basically what Grace saying. Grace not doing anything wrong. I mean, all Grace wants to do. Yes, it was sort of a jerk move to leave Juvia behind. But in my opinion, I think. Listen, now that Grace has his demon eye slayer power. He feels as if he has enough power to go and defeat Zera. I mean, people have to go their own roads, basically. Um, he's, he's starting to make it a point. Okay, next one. Fairy tale is no longer a part of me. So could you please drop the whole BFF back with me? Thank you! Hey! Thank you! Thank you! Look! Thank you, Gray. Thank you. Gray just defied that Nakama. He just defriendzoned Natsu. He dropped all Nakama power ups that were supposed to happen in this arc. Thank you, Gray. Just thank you. Um, what did Lucy's? Okay, Lucy's walking up, and then pimp slaps him. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, so Lucy's Lucy's mad too. Lucy's mad too. How about that? Um, okay. BFF act? It wasn't an act. We're comrades till the end. 
Well, yes, but you forgot what the guild is. A guild isn't where friends come together. It's a common organization associated towards a common goal. Um, and you guys sort of make it look like that. Lucy, not... I mean, yes, you guys have close relationships, but at the same time, if this guy wants to leave, he wants to leave. Don't force it on him. Just saying. Lucy says, Please don't say things like that. I don't want to hear it. I... We <laughs> My stomach it hurt. Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, oh, never mind. Lu Lucy, um, she got punched in the stomach. Um, oh, her stomach hurts. Oh, never mind. She has gas. Um, Lucy, who are you people? Greatest friends from her, and the ones from that guild that no longer exists. Ow, that that hurt, man. Um, what did you do? Okay, so ba apparently now all of the other Avatar members are coming in, they're, and they're ambushed. Okay, um... Not okay, um... You saved us trouble, okay. You weakling shouldn't have gone first in the powers, dear me. Does it hurt? It hurts, doesn't it? Like black magic, okay, we got people using some black magic scale power right here. Look at this panel. That black magic scale power. Even while we've sealed his magic, how is it that he's still strong? Okay, so don't move. Okay, so now we have some more Avatar members coming in. Um, not not just ticked off. Um, this is what you get for sticking your nose into other people's business. Picture it in Raditz's voice. This is what you get for sticking your nose into other people's business. Not Sue. Um, snap out of it, Gray! You're being possessed by a demon! Okay, yeah, he's perfectly sane. I destroyed that family link of ours with my own accord. Does your, does that answer your question? So, yeah, Gray is basically turning into full-scale Sasuke. He's saying that, looks like I've severed that bond. I no longer have a connection with the Leaf Village. Gray, I severed that bond. I have no connection with Fairy Tail anymore. Does that answer your question? Um, oh, oh crap, hold on, hold on. Accidentally opened another tab. Okay, he erased the game. Oh! Oh! Hold on, let's, ta let's take a closer look at that. Let's take a closer look. You know how the fairy tale mark is on his um, chest? <gasps> it's no longer there! Look, look, you see that? It's like some sort of, like, Xerif mark now. Oh, okay. Now, now Natsu's mad. Ticked off right now. Um. Bruh, like, really? Really? Someone's approaching, Gajil. Yeah, I hear him. The smell, though. Thanks for... I want you to guess. Who do you think is the council member? Who do you think is the council member? I'm going to give you three, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's Levy! That's where Levy was. Levy is a council member. Okay. That's actually really interesting. Um, everything went smoothly at first, but boy... Getting out was just painful. Levy, thanks for the hard work. Must have been tough work sneaking in. Uh, the merits of being small. Thanks. Sorry for the wait. That aside, have you heard about Greg Gajil? What? Yeah, wonder what happens to him. It's like his entire heart has been engulfed by darkness. Got nothing with me to do, frankly. Our job is to stop their purification from happening. So basically, he's just seeing Gray as... He doesn't really care what's happening to Gray. He sees him as an enemy now. Panther Lily says, Nothing to do with you? Gray used to be a comrade of yours, wasn't he? He sure is a late one now. If the purification ritual of theirs pulls through, lots of innocent people will die. You telling me I should continue a man who's involved in, in that crazy ass plan? A comrade of mine? Will you be able to fight, though, against one that used to be our own? If our paths are different, that doesn't make us anything but enemies. And that's why we have to stop it. The purification ritual. And there, Gajil and Panther Lily acting cool. Gajil 
only sees Grey as someone expendable. And then we have the fairy tale, um, you know, fan art. And you know, it's done with that, but for this chapter, chapter was very well done. Grey actually putting in that logic because, you know, usually when they're trying to get like an evil person back, they try to pull some Naruto nonsense. Um, apparently, Grey had his own logic, he had some of his own claims. And honestly, I think that Grey, he needs to look, he needs to try and go along with the purification ritual, and then he will see that what he's doing is wrong, and then he'll be able to like go away. And you know, we'll probably end up reviving some sort of monster or start reviving Zerfu power. Natsu comes in with his end magic, defeating that so called monster or Zerf himself from this. And tell me in the comments, do you think Grey has taken fairy tale for granted? Do you think that he's actually speaking logic with his reason of going away from the guild? Do you think that he has offended not just Natsu and Lucy and everybody else, but has he offended you by trashing on Fairy Tale as well? I, in my opinion, I think that I think it's pr pretty much cool that he's like he's not falling for what Natsu says. Like from Natsu always says that a guild member, like it's Fairy Tale. Like I get that Fairy Tale has a bunch of memories in it. Like you have a bunch of memories to go through, but the guild's done, bro. Like, Magarov said himself, the fairy tale's over. Just start a new guild. I mean, how, how hard is that? It's not that hard. Anyways, tell me, guys, what you think. That is it for me today. If you guys like my live reaction, be sure to subscribe if you're new. And be sure to like the video if you liked it. And I'll tell you again. See ya.